Sitka is a small city just south of San Francisco. And it's known for its beautiful beaches, the open hills. But Sitka has a problem related to sea level rise and bluff erosion. Climate change will affect how fast sea level rises and the stronger winter storms that are the major cause of erosion of the bluffs. That is the big problem. We've actually lost a couple of apartment buildings a few years ago, and we have more under threat. I'm John Keener, I'm a former research biochemist and former council member and mayor of Pacifica. This is the coastal trail over what once were houses and yards and so on. So you can see the front door of, of the houses was almost even with the edge of the bluff now. This was my house. 556 five, Esplanade. There was a garage over here. There was also the most fabulous bathroom with the bathtub right on the ocean. It was, for me, perfection. I loved living here. One day, I was just sitting in my living room, which was on this side, and I went into my bedroom, and part of the fence was missing. This whole part of the cliff had fallen down, but it was sand, so it just kind of went whoosh. And then a few days later, the neighbor's hot tub fell in. And then the city said, you know, it looks like they're going to fall into the ocean, so we're going to demolish them. And the demolition guy got to my house, and you could see the claw come out reach for my house and before it even touched it it just pulled off of its foundation the house and fell in suicide. like a monopoly house the coasts are just in trouble big big trouble well, El Nino storms are speeding up erosion along California's coast. Yeah, families urge to get out before their homes go over the edge. Now, these apartment buildings are teetering on the verge of disaster. The apartment cliff dwellers of Pacifica changed status this morning from residents to refugees. Well, I thought we would have to move uh, sooner or later. It just happened sooner. Tonight, El Nino's fury ripping apart this chunk of California coastline. Look at the edge. The pavement just crumbled away. Way. Another 20 way. feet used to go out there, all of it falling over the edge over just the last two weeks. Right down there, there's only about 30 feet of bluff left before these apartments become like those apartments down there. And so that's why they're doing all this construction down on the beach is an attempt to reinforce the bluff and to stop the erosion. In the long run, it won't work. Yeah, good to see you, Charles. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. What a mess out here. Yeah. yeah. I know Charles from, he was one of the contractors that helped us write the sea level part of our local coastal plan. We were sort of, I think, lulled into a false sense of security in locations like this. We thought they were safe. When this building was built, the projection was that it would be safe for 75 years at least yeah. without a seawall. That was in 1972. The seawall was built about 40 years earlier than expected, so the long-term solution is to pull back gracefully. The idea of managed retreat, you know, it gets simplified down to this, oh, the state is telling people they have to move out of their homes tomorrow. No, managed retreat is about anticipating what's going to be happening over a decades you know, decades of time. Do you want to deal with this uh, on an emergency basis, which is the way we've dealt with it so far, and is the most expensive possible way to deal with it? Or do you want to plan for it a little bit and find a cheaper way to deal with it? The community
community is not dealing with this very well. Some of the community are up in arms against managed retreat. I lost an election because of it. Some of this climate change fear-mongering is distracting us from the real solutions to make a more resilient environment. There's definitely been climate change. I think the, the issue is how much are we affecting it, how much is natural. Here on the west coast, we're affected by El Ninos and La Ninas. You, you have this erosion happen during an El Nino. This place is gonna always keep eroding. So people shouldn't have built here because it was the wrong place to build because of very fragile cliffs. But now we have a legacy of all this infrastructure. Almost all the businesses of Pacific are, are here on the coast. Do you just give up on them? I, mean, I think we have a legacy problem where let's build a seawall and protect it. Another environmental problem that Pacifica is facing is sea level rise for low-lying areas that could be flooded. During the winter and king tide events, if we get a big storm, that is real bad for the seawall and the community and us. <laughs> We're getting wet. So the folks against uh, managed retreat, so-called, are homeowners and the realtors. They don't want to lose the value of their homes. I was and continue to be a vocal critic of uh, former mayor, Mr. Keener. Anticipated sea level rise could be 50 or 100 years from now, and by all means, chances are we're all gonna be dead by then. Sure, we can have a conversation about it, but why doom all of these properties? with a stamp, a label, that makes it difficult to gain equity, to take out equity in your property, to sell your property. Pacificans are naturally resilient. If they live here, they're gonna be resilient. Anything here that you're looking at is, you know, that's two or three million dollars, that's a million dollars, that's a million dollars and everything that's here has been because we have fought Mother Nature. That's what man does. So the goals are to protect what we have, and that's what we're looking for is, is help with uh, funding, which is millions of dollars for seawalls, but uh, without state or even national funding, it's almost impossible, especially for a town that, that basically has no, a, a very non-diverse tax base. Seawalls can last 30, 40, 50 years, and a seawall will eventually cause the beach to disappear by erosion. I recognize that my property may not be here in the future, and that it may go back to nature. In the year 2100, right around here is where the new coastline will be. I don't think that I'm gonna be around at the time that that happens, but what's important to me is seeing that problems aren't pushed off for future generations. We can try to think that we can contain this, but it's widely known, and so insurance companies are aware of this. There are already conversations going on about if bank loans are gonna continue with 30-year mortgages. So, but if we choose not to talk about it, we won't be able to get beyond our fears. essentially moved here to get closer to nature. And we kind of made an agreement between my wife and I and our kids that we're not going to leave this house to them in our will. We didn't want them to have to deal with what might be down the road 50 years or whatever. Well, our life isn't permanent. We're just borrowing where we live. And it was a huge lesson into understanding the impermanence of of man, and people think, well, their house is a permanent place, but it's not, and this is actually part of that lesson. 
you know, climate change or not, there could be some huge storm that could damage your house. So the whole debate about managed retreat that is going on in Pacifica is it's a little strange because some people that don't want it basically say the city should guarantee that we have protection against the ocean, which is rather strange because here I am, a well-to-do person, and if they had their way, I might get city money to protect my house. So the question is, is it fair for a private person to get benefit from taxpayers' dollars, which in my book is totally wrong. This is the shutters we use when we're expecting big storms. We had to actually pay for some of the seawall here also. houses on this beach. Right. South of here, between here and the creek. Taking the homes, the two houses, the two beach houses away from the beach here is a really good example of successful managed retreat. We've created new beach, new public areas, and people use this a lot. John, you always have paid attention to the, the facts and the science. I am a scientist. Right. Mm -hmm. So, and... And you uh, got lots and lots of good environmental work done during that two-year period. Yeah, we did. A, a very, very dirty campaign was run um, with an enormous amount of money that went into negative campaigning. Right, it was from um, national associations and state associations um, interested in development and with less concerns about understanding the environmental concerns. Ah, yes, here we go. This was the first one, me barbecuing the money, paid for by California Association of Realtors, major funding from the National Association of Realtors. This was from another organization, and it says, Managed Retreat Draconian. It's a headline from the Pacifica Tribune. Another headline says, Ready to Retreat. After I was not elected, um, the next mayor uh, was Suvar Loss. They didn't want him elected because he was in favor of managed retreat and realtors are in favor of personal property rights. It's just uh, inborn in us to protect properties. And if there's a red line around your house where you live, um, are people willing to give you insurance or mortgage? What about the values of their homes? And then the values of the homes affect the city because our city income is based on property taxes and therefore the city won't have as much money. To me, the beach is great. Everyone loves the beach. We all live here because of the beach. But people are more important. I've always been an environmentalist. One of the good things about losing that second race for city council was that I get to focus on issues that really matter to me instead of having to deal with um, everyday matters of the city. I do this about once a month on Friday and uh, it's inspired by uh, Greta Thunberg. Holding up my sign for uh, protesting climate change. Wayne, how are you? <laughs> Politicians are in a tough situation with respect to climate change. 
So we've never had an issue like this. There are real consequences to doing nothing, which is what we're doing right now. The extreme position, I think, is no managed retreat. Eventually, the ocean's gonna win.